This is a fruitful endeavor, a featured contract uh, on Colorado. Uh, this is a zero mastery walkthrough for it. Uh, we've got uh, four targets, uh, the guy in Ezraberg's shed, Ezraberg himself, the point man at the barracks, and a guy who patrols in front of the barracks, all of them to be killed any method, any disguise. So we are going to be starting at the southern farm perimeter, the only uh, starting point we have, plus our suit. But it has come to my attention that there are certain unlocks, or they're not really unlocks, they're items that are available to you uh, from the start. So I don't want to artificially restrict myself and make uh, walkthroughs too hard or dependent on skill or fiber wire usage or things like that. So I'm going to use whatever is available to somebody who basically has no mastery, who has no unlocks, no challenge packs, uh, who has just installed the game, basically. Uh, so that includes the first smuggle point on each map except Hokkaido, because those are unlockable for free, they don't require any uh, mastery, and they're automatically always available. Uh, that also includes the Hawk 21 unsilenced pistol, which isn't that useful. The ICA-19 silence pistol, of course. The coin and fiber wire, of course. Uh, the lockpick, uh, but not the breaching charges or anything like that. The modern lethal syringe, but none of the other syringes and none of the poison vials. Those are all unlocks. And I believe the proximity mine. So if those things would be useful, we will bring them. And in this case, they will be, so I'd like to show that off. So what we're going to do here is start. We're going to come through here. And as a pretty standard kind of opening, get our smuggled item, our extra thing here, and throw a coin like right here huh. to attract the I'm attention of one of these guys. Messing with us. Go check it out. That's a big 10-4. Now it looks like he's going wide, so we'll go this way. What's he doing? And go ahead and drag him into the bin. And we'll take his disguise. That puts our suit in a nice, easily accessible exit spot. And it, of course, gives us a disguise, which means we don't have to run around the map now uh, messing with that. We're going to pick up the gun and the extra coin, although I don't know that I need them. And we're going to head for the barracks. We need to be fast about this, because there is an opportunity. And we have time for it, so if you're a little slow, don't worry about it. But uh, if not, you're going to have to wait for another opportunity, and I'll show you what, that, what I mean by that. Once we get into the barracks, we should see that uh, one of the guys is walking towards the sink, and the point man is taking a drink from his water. Now, we're not going to bump the point man, we're just going to go and grab these poison pills behind the TV, and we're going to wait for him to finish his drink, while the other guy is at the sink washing up. So he'll finish his drink, he'll set it down, and he'll start walking away. Once he does that, make sure you don't bump him, and just poison his water. Nobody should notice this. Now we're going to come out here, and Mason Burgess will kind of be wandering this way, so just bump him. Hmm. Oh, wrong guy. Bump, Easy does. bump Mason. Drop a coin. What the? And just throw it towards that exit. And his friend should walk off eventually. Once he does, just follow Burgess until he stops. Stick him with the needle. And go ahead. No one should notice that, but if you're concerned, you can pick it up and throw it again kind of behind the, uh... Behind the, uh, barracks and stick him there. But once you get away with the actual injection, that's it. It's a poison kill. It doesn't count as a body found or anything like that. So we're gonna run over here to Ezraberg's shed, and we need to interrupt a uh, conversation between these two. What the...? So I'm gonna bump this guy and kind of drop a coin right there. Clinton Webster should be walking over there. Wait for him to kind of stop over there and do this guy and dump him. You're going to have to be fast on this. If you don't have the opportunity, you can just wait, but... Okay, got our coin back. Clinton Webster is there at the door, so we're going to unlock the door. We're going to run inside, hugging the right wall, close the door behind us, and now we're going to line up a shot and shoot him in the head. And then immediately... Drag him over here. As Ezra Berg is coming. Conceal an item in here. Grab his gun. And hide. If Ezra Berg looks like he's coming in here, just jump out the window and come back in. So Ezra Berg will come in and he will go to his desk over there. So we're going to just wait for the door to close. And for him to be... His stability. Fully there. And then we're just going to pistol eliminate him. You can also just shoot him in the head, whatever you like. You don't have to pick up any of his keys or other items. We don't need them. We're just going to dump him. So either everyone has been dumped or everyone died of poison. So two people are in a, uh, in a container. 
two people died of poison, so there's no risk now of any bodies being found. Uh, and the one person we knocked out for his disguise is also in a bin, so there is no chance of a body found. And if you've gotten this far, then you will have gotten away with it. All we have to do now is avoid enforcers, get our suit back, and exit without being seen. So, just need to head back to the perimeter. And we're going to take the main exit there. That guy is an enforcer there. He may be over there at that barrel. Just watch him and see what he does. Come wide if you need to, like this. No one should be looking at you over here at the bin. However, you will notice the perimeter patrollers may be there. Those are two guys that actually wander back and forth. Uh, well, they don't wander back and forth. They wander in a big circle going this way. So, in a minute, they should start Just walking watched an this way. with that billionaire presidential candidate last night. You know, the one with the famous hairdo. Ah, that guy seems so well-composed and has such a refined academic way to use his arguments, flanked with well-researched facts and figures. Yeah, he's honest and, and trustworthy. What you think? I don't think I could disagree with you anymore and your crackpot ideas. Which reminds me, I should ask you, are you smoking crack? You know, I ought to put a few rounds in you, friend. Maybe you'd stop being such a dick. Yeah, you suck. You know something? The more you talk, the crazier you seem. I'm serious. You should stop now before you make an even bigger ass of yourself. Just forget it, all right? Okay, well, with that done, these guys will walk off. We're going the same way they're going, but give them a minute to get ahead of you. The good news is, if you were behind these guys, then you know that they're not going to come up from behind you, because obviously there's only one set of these guys. There's two of them, they're together, and nobody else patrols the perimeter, so... Now you don't want to go faster than them because you don't want to give them a chance to see you, so be patient. The gate guys are over here talking to people, great. If not, just get over here and exit. And that should take care of it. A little difficult, I know, especially with subduing that guy at Ezra Burke's place, but it's a little bit necessary because otherwise it does get pretty rough. And that'll get you Silent Assassin. Not quickly, but it will get it there.